Hello friends and welcome back today for our variation and basic cueing our yoga foundation. We are going into Cobra Pose. Today I just have a blanket and my mat and that's all we'll really need. Go ahead, grab anything else that you might want to test out and I will meet you on your mat. for Cobra Pose. Um, like in a lot of my other videos throughout this series, uh, I've always said um, to keep a blanket handy, which is still true here. So um, again, the best prop you can always have is a blanket. It can support you in so many different poses. Um, but there's one thing that you need to keep in mind when you come into any back bending with your blanket. It's that um, it needs to be positioned correctly. So in our first uh, option or our first variation, we're coming into Cobra Pose with our blanket. Now I'm sure you've already seen Cobra Pose and you know Cobra Pose, but I will go into the basics. Actually, how about I go into the traditional one first? So I'm going to remove the blanket and we'll come into the traditional cobra pose. So I'm coming onto my belly and we probably shift forward from a tabletop or a downward facing dog. Now from our downward facing dog, our hands were way out here. So when we shift forward, our hands are underneath our shoulders. Now, I don't know about you, but my hand placement underneath my shoulders doesn't feel great. So my cue here is to slide the heel of your hand back by your low rib. So they're slightly pulled back underneath your shoulder. That'll allow your chest to elongate and stretch forward. Now our elbows like to flop out to the side here, or we like to bow our arms out. So let's try to glue our elbows back by our sides like we're little grasshoppers. So the elbows are reaching back behind us and our shoulder heads are pulling away from our ears. The tops of our feet should be pressed into the mat. It's very difficult sometimes to keep them pressed in, but let's try our best here. Can lengthen them out. And when you're ready, let's inhale, lift our head, neck, and chest up off the mat. Weight is light in my hands here, so I'm just using that upper body and upper back strength. Now, we like to be here gazing up at the ceiling, and it hurts. So let's take that gaze, well, back down to the floor. So again, coming back to that spinal lengthening, it's here again, and lengthening through the back of our neck. You can just gaze straight down at the floor, or maybe just at the top of your mat if it's not too far away. You don't have to crank your head back here because this isn't helping anybody. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and release that. So with that basic understanding of Cobra Pose, sliding our hands back, pulling our elbows in and lifting through your chest. We can take our blanket here and we want it positioned correctly. Now, if you are co consistently using your blanket, you'll know where to put it on your mat um, when you start your practice. If you're just starting to use a blanket in a lot of your postures, then um, it gets a little wonky. So, in our back bending poses, we want it right underneath, like almost our low rib area and underneath our or, uh, middle of our thighs here. So we don't really want our hips hanging off because that's gonna put a little kink in our low back here. And it's gonna be more difficult to lift our upper body because our lower body is getting slightly raised up. So we need to position our blanket accordingly and to our body shape, making sure it's both underneath our belly and on our thighs. So this even helps me lift my chest a little bit more. It gives me a little bit of a boost. My heels and my hands are sliding back. They can even be a little bit on your blanket here. Elbows pull in and I'm lifting my chest and I can lift a lot higher with my blanket as you can see. So it's giving me a little bit of boost and my feet are trying to find the floor. Now, um, Cobra Pose isn't for everyone and a lot of times we like to press our hands super hard into our uh, mat. 
to get the biggest stretch ever. And you don't have to. You don't have to go up into that full cobra pose. Um, I personally don't enjoy it. I never cue it in class because it really pinches my low back and it looks like it pinches other people's low back. So I usually just avoid it. And if you want that super deep, big uh, heart opening back bend, uh, just come into an upward facing dog. So um, another modification we can take in our low cobra is bringing our legs out as wide as our mat. So if you have a lot of tension in this low back area or you feel like it's pinching, you can always take your feet out as wide as your mat and that will reduce tension. If your shoulders hurt or anything like that, um, or if you have tight shoulders, you can always bring your hands out wider than your mat here and just lift your chest. This is great, this is perfect, that's fine. Uh, we're just really working on opening up our chest here. Maybe your feet are out wide, gaze is down at the floor, lengthening through your spine. You can come up onto your fingertips here. So I like to call these cupcake hands. And you just come up onto your little cupcake fingers. Your elbows are gonna be pointing out to the side, that's just how they're gonna be. And you can inhale, press through your fingers, lift through your chest. This can reduce uh, tension on your wrist and on your shoulders here. And then just again, taking your gaze right down to the floor. So you have many different options here for your Cobra pose. Um, and again, with the blanket, you just have to kind of figure out and navigate where it's gonna fit best on your mat. But once you've found that sweet spot, then you know, where to put it on your mat and how to navigate around it, especially if you're coming down um, onto your belly for quite a few poses, especially in, to, in the beginning of class. So anyway, that's all I have for today for our Cobra pose. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave a comment and remember to like and subscribe to support free yoga. It really helps me out. And uh, these are all on the blog, along with the other variation videos at tatamarieyoga.com. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks as always, it's an honor to move with you. Namaste.